J-A-G-L-I-V-E-S Jaglist Good morning one, good morning all. Hello everybody. 500 subscribers. We've done it folks. We've gone over the 500 barrier. Thank you everybody. And yeah, excellent. Let's just move on now to 520 small increments, man. Today is Tuesday. We're going back to work after a fantastic weekend. Thoroughly enjoyed my weekend. And I must say also thank you to everybody who's uh, joined me on uh, that Words with Friends game. Excellent. Been playing Laws and playing Ewan. Um, and my bro, of course, a couple other folks. So we're having a couple of good tussles in there. Yes, there are indeed. So anyway, off to work we go, folks. Today's Biscuit of choice is a caramel wafer. Yes, indeed. Very good. These tonics are a fantastic company. They make the caramel wafer, obviously. They do the tonics tea cake. And I think they do the caramel log as well. Bro and I were talking about them at the weekend there. And they do the best Scottish chocolate bars ever. Right. To work. Batman. Yeah, could we get three, please? Yeah. Thank you. Lovely. Thank Thanks you. very much. See you later. Yes. Well, here we are around the back again, folks. Now, I've often wondered what this bell is used for here. It's like it hasn't been used for years. Look. It's all cobwebbed over. Worm, worm owl, it says on it. I haven't got a clue what it's for, man. All these pipes down here as well. Obviously, it's got something to do with the uh, the fire exit there, probably, but uh, I've never heard it ring. Never. In all the years I've been here, man, it's never rung once. Anyway, <laughs> now, here we have some signs of. Uh, what is he going on? There's an egg there, and you can see how the, the leaves beside it have been disturbed so something's have been scraping away there and eating the the inside of the egg recording oh i don't know what's happening here chaps are we recording yes we are we're live here in spiz hq just got back from work and I've just come in, yes indeed, and there's a package. Crikey. It's from Christopher Timothy, my friend from Canada. Wow. A um, pretty packet. Wow. I think I know what it is. Oh, it actually says what it is. It says, it's a hat. Excellent. Christopher, thank you very much. Did I send you spiz badges? I'm sure I did, mate. Anyway, thank you very much indeed for this. As you know, I, I do like hats and it's coming off for winter time again, so let's just uh, see. Here we go. Oh. oh, nice one, mate. Oh, yeah, cool. It's a beanie hat. Fantastic. Oh, look at that. It's got the Canadian thing on it. Brilliant. Oh, rock on, mate. That's brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. Well, That'll be nice to go with my, uh, you know, I've got the other one that's like, it's very similar. But uh, yeah, that's quality, man. I like that. Nice one. Thank you. Well, there's a little note as well that goes with it. Thank you very much. Let's just see what he says. If it's, if, if it's anything personal, I'll just edit it out. But this is what it says. Hello, Jag. Hello, Christopher. Say hi to Rosie and bro. Also, hope you like the hat as much as we like the, the hot song. <laughs> the hot song, or the hat song, the hat song, sorry. Ah, Ver Veronica, originally from Inverness. So if you do another road trip and go up there, she'd love that. Well, I think that could well be in order. We spent many vacations over there, but only been to Dundee for a few days. You know, you could probably see all there is in Dundee to see in a few days. You talk about sunny weather, you've had, we've been terribly hot, or as Va oh, as Veronica says, bloody hot. Wishing we were over there. 
watch every video and we keep spreading the word so maybe more Canuck, that's the place in Canada they come from, subscribers in the future. All for now, CMV Timothy. No problem. Thank you very much for spreading the word, the Spiz word and uh, the Jack Lives word as well. So a special thank you to Christopher Timothy and Veronica. Hello everybody over there in Canada. Thank you very much indeed. I love this hat. Look at it. It's great. Fantastic. I'll be wearing that on our next sunny day adventure. Thank you very much indeed, Christopher and Veronica. I really do appreciate it. It's awesome. Thank you. Alrighty, welcome to the kitchen where I'm quite excited to be making a pizza with this new pizza dough, pizza base that I got from Alalidlis. And I've also got these mozzarella pearls. So it's a slightly different way of making the pizza. This dough is already sort of made. What you have to do is just roll it out onto the, uh, the base, the pizza tray. And it's ready to go. Basically, get it? Base, basically? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, and it didn't cost a lot of money, this, either. It uh, didn't cost a lot of dough. Uh, yeah, it was rather cheap. So we're just going to try it and see if we get on with it. Roll it. So this is what you do, basically. You cut this off. And... Oh, oh no, it's a bit. Hey. All right, okay, unwrap it. Oh, it's a bit sticky. Oh, what does it say you have to do again? Got some instructions here. What do you do? Remove out of it. Unroll the pizza dough with the baking paper directly onto a baking tray. Oh, good lord, it's a bit squidgy like. Crikey, it's huge. You're supposed to use all of it. My lord, it's massive. Right. Okay. Well, is that what you do? You don't take the baking. You must have to. With the baking paper directly onto a baking tray. Spread tomato sauce over the dough and add your favorite on. Place in the middle shelf oven for the blah de blah or until cooked pipe. Do not, do not. I don't understand. What is this it? Oh man, that's weird. I don't understand. Right, so this is what we have, folks. Do you, do you take the baking paper off? I don't understand. Oh man, I don't know what's going on here. Right, I can't see it. I don't know what's going on here. I can't be. It's all hanging up against the sides. Show me the instructions again. Remove out of film. Unroll the pizza dough with the baking paper directly onto the baking tray. Which done. Spread tomato sauce over the dough and add your favourite topping. Place on the middle shelf of a free oven for a specified time or until thoroughly cooked. So I just leave it like this. I'm going to cut it, obviously. Then, look at Right, folks, so what I've done then, I've just transferred it onto a, a normal baking tray and put my mozzarella pearls, cut them up, put them on there. Right, so what I've done is basically just put them onto the uh, onto this square, just a normal baking tray, really. Chopped up the, uh, quite impressed with those mozzarella um, ball things. They're a really good man. And just placed them strategically at even spaces on the pizza base. It's going to be a rectangular pizza. I'm just going to put the, the rest of the toppings on now. I've got some mushrooms, onions and peppers. Um, so basically it's it's made the job a lot easier because... Making the dough can get a bit messy with the flour flying everywhere and the dough sticks to your fingers and you go to wipe off and it sticks to your other hand and then you try and wipe it off or you know wash your hands in the sink and the bits go everywhere. So it's made it a lot easier. We're just going to have to see how it tastes when we get all the, the stuff on it. All right, folks, there we go. Then I put some parma ham on. Well, not parma ham, just Wiltshire ham, mushrooms, peppers and onion on there. And that's basically it, ready to go in now. That's it. Right, that's it. It's ready to go in. And, yep, we'll give it 20 minutes. I'm intrigued to see how this, this turns out. I'm going to sprinkle some oregano on top and that'll be it. Here we go. Into the oven now. Thank you very much for my hat. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for my hat. Thank you very much. I'm gonna wear it. I'm 
gonna wear it, I'm gonna wear it on my head. I'm gonna wear it, I'm gonna wear it, I'm gonna wear it on my head. So thank you very much for my hat. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for my hat. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm gonna wear it, I'm gonna wear it, I'm gonna wear it on my head. We're gonna wear it. Thank you very much, my hat. Love it. Rock and roll, man. Well, folks, the pizza is out. There it is. Smells good, looks good. Just gotta taste it now. Now, the thing is, how do I get off this? Oh, it moves. Right, okay, we're just gonna slide it off. Look at that, it's off. Crikey. Excellent. Right, let's taste Post this thing. Tea couscous with homemade pizza. Mm -hmm. See what this is like then. Here we go. Right, folks. So the pizza was okay. Yeah, it wasn't. I don't think it's quite as good as my my normal homemade pizza. But the dough, I think, would would do if there were lots of people there because they made a massive, big rectangle of of pizza base. There just wasn't enough mozzarella cheese to go in, and that was the only thing. So if I was going to make it again. I would definitely get more mozzarella, but uh, yeah, it was actually it was okay, tasty, and with the couscous, of course, not bad. So I will give the pizza I just made that. I'm gonna give that a six out of ten. And with that, another day closes, folks. So once again, thanks very much for watching my videos. We really do appreciate it, everybody. We'll see you again tomorrow with another adventure. Bye for now. Good night. Thank you very much for my hat. Thank you very much. I'm gonna wear it, I'm gonna wear it on my head. I'm gonna wear it, I'm gonna wear it, I'm gonna wear it on my hat. You're wearing my hat? Oh, damn it.